Howdy, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog. We're going to talk about how to fix the iOS recovery loop. Now, if you've ever tried to downgrade your firmware, or perhaps you're trying to restore your iPhone back to stock so you can sell it for an iPhone 5, you probably encountered this error at least once. The iPhone recovery loop basically puts your iPhone in a continuous recovery loop so you can't actually get back to your home screen and restore your iPhone. But we're going to fix that by means of a few tools, one of which is Tiny Umbrella. Now, of course, Tiny Umbrella allows you to downgrade your iOS firmware. All you need to do is start the TSS server like I just did here, and then iTunes will close out. And then what you want to do after that is reopen iTunes, and it'll find your iPhone in recovery mode. It'll notate that just like that. You just click OK here. And then what you can do from here is point the restore to the old firmware. So for instance here, you want to hold your option key, click restore, and then once you do that, it'll bring up a window where you can choose the firmware. So I'm going to choose the 4.3.3 firmware right here. And there it is. There's the iPhone 4.3.3 for the iPhone 4. And you just select that and click open. Once you do that, it should say it's ready to restore, blah, blah, blah. So you just click restore and it'll start the restoration process. Now this takes a little, a little while. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the process here. Eventually you should see your iPhone acknowledge the restoration. You'll see the screen turn white and then it'll start the restoration. But in the meantime, let's talk about Tiny Umbrella. Uh, more specifically, let's talk about this fix recovery option on Tiny Umbrella. So if you do a search on Google for Tiny Umbrella, you'll find their homepage. And then you should see this fix recovery for OS 10 and Windows. Since I'm running a Mac, I'm going to show you the OS 10 version. But just go ahead and download that fix recovery. And that is going to be an integral part of us getting out of that dreaded recovery loop. Here is the file uh, for fix recovery for 4.3 and 4.2.1. Since I am, am downgrading to 4.3, you're going to want it for 4.3 in this example here. But this is just a zip file. I've unzipped the uh, contents of the file. And we'll be using that a little bit later on in this tutorial. But right now, you're going to watch our iPhone as it restores. And you can see the progress bar start to creep up near the end there. This does take a while, as I was saying. I have tried to speed it up to cut down on some of this time that I spend rambling on to you guys. But what you're going to see here in a few seconds, you'll see the recovery loop actually initialize. And we should see it in five, four, three, two, one. There it is, folks, the iTunes, the Connect to iTunes logo. Uh, and that's a good sign that you're stuck in the recovery loop. You notice it doesn't try to activate or anything like that, but you're stuck in that stupid recovery loop. So what I'm going to do now is show you how to break free of that recovery loop. But one thing I do want to show you is that even if you try to use the exit recovery option in, for instance, Tiny Umbrella, just right here, you should see an exit recovery option. Let me stop the server here and let me select my iPhone. And then you see the exit recovery option. If you Even if you click that, it still does not exit out of the recovery loop. As you'll see here, it'll go right back to that connect to iTunes logo screen and you're stuck in a loop forever. Well, not forever because I'm going to show you how you can break free of that using Tiny Umbrella or using some of the tools that you can find on Tiny Umbrella's homepage. So just give it a few more seconds and you'll see it pop right back up to the Connect to iTunes logo. And that should be coming up shortly in about five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> All right, here he comes, here he comes. Right there, there is the Connect to iTunes logo and signifying that you're in the recovery loop. So how do you fix this? Let's get down to business now. Let me show you exactly how to fix this. If you have downloaded the fix recovery, as I showed you a little bit earlier from Tiny Umbrella's website, you should have the zip file. You want to extract that file. You should see two items in that folder. Uh, you'll see fix recovery for 4.3 and fix recovery for 4.2.1. Of course, we're going to use 4.3 here. All you need to do is right click on that and select open with and then use terminal to run it. But first, you need to put your phone into DFU mode. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Just going to hold home and power for 10 seconds. 
And then I'm gonna release the power button and continue to hold home. And that should put the iPhone into DFU mode. Once it's in DFU mode, iTunes should recognize it. It should pop up saying it found a device in recovery mode as I showed you there. That's fine, just go ahead and close out of iTunes. Now we wanna right click on this, select open with and select terminal. And then you'll see the terminal open up and it'll execute some code and it will kick your iPhone out of that dreaded recovery loop as you'll see here. It's really easy. You just let it rip and you should see the iPhone screen light up and it looks almost like you're jailbreaking your iPhone again, but you're really not. You're just exiting the recovery loop. So we'll just let this run here. You see that? And you can see all that code running on the iPhone screen. And then you'll see the iPhone reboot. And of course I'm speeding things up a bit for time's sake, but this usually takes a few minutes. Um, so in a second, you'll see your iPhone load and it'll come back to the iTunes logo, but this time it doesn't get stuck in the recovery loop. You'll see it start to sync with iTunes and you're back to your iPhone's home screen, folks. All you need to do is slide it unlock and voila, there it is, the glorious home screen. Of course it is back to stock it's not jailbroken it's just ready to go if you want to sell your iphone 4 you can do so now so folks that is how you exit that dreaded recovery loop i hope this was able to help you out if you need to downgrade your firmware or you're just ready to sell your iphone just follow this simple tutorial let me know what you think in the comment section below folks this is jeff with iDownloadBlog.